Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. In this video, we'll continue on creating our foliage plant inside our project example to have a better look of our projects. In our previous video, we have learned how to download the free Megascan assets on Unreal Engine Marketplace and how to import them and add them to our project and how to add them inside the paint foliage system and to scatter them by mixing them up inside the landscape area to have a better look uh, for our project. The next step is the trees. I have used speed tree in this example to create some of the trees that you're gonna see later on uh, on the videos. If you are not familiar with the speed tree software, you can easily visit their YouTube channel and watch lots of videos showing how you can create a tree from scratch and have lots of uh, different ideas and methods to adjust uh, the creation uh, inside uh, the creation of the tree inside the speed tree to reach to a very nice level of uh, a realistic tree. But for this video. I'm going to show you just a basic idea how to use the software so you can have a, at least a general idea of uh, the creation method. So basically in this uh, area I'm just going to right click and add a geometry as a trunk for our tree and as you can see on the left side you can see a lots of parameters that you can change that will uh, help you adjust the basic structure of the tree that is the trunk like the height and different stuff and you can again right click on the trunk and add big branches for example and you can easily adjust the number of them uh, by the generation uh, category here and then again you can add, right click and add little branches for example and also increase the number of them and also uh, randomize uh, the, the direction that the, they have been created as you can see the software is also using the node system uh, and the creation method then again you can add also some of the twigs that uh, get that basically they are the main uh, source uh, the, the, sorry they are the main element uh, before the leaf comes off the tree so uh, you can also increase the frequency of them and also adjust the randomness uh, and their direction method later on you can add your uh, leaf mesh and this is basically just the idea of creating the tree and you can always go back and hide one of these uh, nodes and for the material to add a material for the tree you can actually uh, import the material by using a, a basic uh, material system here just click on the add uh, material so I'm gonna add a new one name this as the trunk and I'm gonna add also another one and name this as the leaf and hit ok so as you can see here I can switch between my material categories so for the trunk I'm gonna go to the color and import my uh, texture for the trunk and right away I'm gonna go to the trunk node and go to the material category and choose also from the the option that I have the trunk material that I have created as you can see we have our tr tree basically uh, just as, as fast as I have done uh, so far and you can also add the normal map so you can add uh, a little bit of details that actually normal map was created also using the NVIDIA uh, creation method and then for the leaf this is where you actually start uh, creating your custom leaf because inside Unreal Engine the basic idea is that you want a really high realistic tree and to do that make sure that you use a very high uh, leaf texture for example this one I have basically made it uh, from uh, a tree that uh, is available in the area so I've edited the image inside Photoshop and I added also the 
the other channel, the, the opacity and the normal. And inside the speed tree, after importing uh, the leaf texture, there is another way of creating a very nice uh, way for the leaf inside uh, inside speed tree. Sorry, that is the mesh for the leaf. So if you go to the mesh and edit the mesh, you'll find that there is a structure of the of the leaf. So if I choose, for example, the leaf. There are a very nice video on their channel showing how to create the leaf mesh. As you can see, I can uh, in real time review the leaf mesh. And uh, for, uh, for our example or for our purpose, we need to have as many segments as we can. So the wind, when it hits the leaf, it can actually get animated. So uh, back to our material that we have here. We can also change uh, the leaf uh, mesh to the leaf uh, mesh that we have created and also our change our material to the leaf and add an opacity map that I have created and through some of the adjustments or the tweaks that you can play around with the sky sensitivity in their orientation system you can always adjust uh, the leaf structure and when you spend some time on this, like we have done, I have reached eventually to this tree, as you can see, that I'm gonna import right now, export it, and then import it inside uh, our example. So it is made basically from a few steps and then just more tweaking on top of them. And if I hit eight and then activate the wind system, as you can see, we have uh, a dynamic interactive tree with the wind and we also have the same thing inside Unreal Engine and also as you can see here this is the number of the, uh, the polygons of the trees and it's a bit high but uh, as for our purpose that if we want to create some animations for our project we need uh, a very high detail trees so we can get the, the better uh, look of our uh, production for the project uh, media files but you also can um, reduce this by going back to your mesh creation method and minimize the amount of the polygons and also when you click on top of the one of the nodes speed tree will show you how many polygons are available on your uh, tree structure for this specific node all right so once the tree uh, creation method is done you're just going to go to file and export the game and save and in the preset we're gonna choose unreal engine 4 and make sure that you tick the all loads and as you can see these are the uh, options that i have followed based on their uh, tutorials and their channels and i made sure that my texture should have the 2k resolution and when we get hit ok we're gonna export the tree and then uh, get back to unreal engine and import the tree as it is exported from uh, the speed tree uh, uh, software okay so inside unreal engine i'm gonna create a new folder and name this as a tree sorry okay and then i'm gonna hit import and go back to my file and this is this the speed tree, the extension in SD represents speed tree that I have uh, exported from the, uh, the, uh, the software. And Unreal Engine is uh, compatible with the speed tree trees, so you can basically import them directly. And once the speed tree options uh, panel pop up, just click on the option that represent the collusion and the material and the vertex processing, and then hit import. So once it's imported inside uh, our project, we're gonna start adding it to the paint foliage tool. Okay, so now that our tree is imported, we can double click it and check it out and see uh, some of the options that we have here. So it basically shows the same amount of the polygons, but if you go here, you'll find that you have your level of details that was automatically created by speed tree. So if we go to the highest level, sorry, for the lowest level of details, we can see that 
it's less than uh, the highest level okay so uh, I'm gonna add this to our paint uh, category and make sure that we have disabled all of our plants and then drag it here and activate the single instance mode so I'm gonna click it over here give it a little bit of time to compile and just make sure also that it's a movable uh, mobility option and the shadows have been compiled I'm gonna add another one here and another one here and let's play a little bit with the materials and the resolution of it okay so basically in our material we have the tree branch that is basically have been um, organized through speed tree in the same uh, way that it was exported it is imported inside our engine but for the uh, the leaf uh, texture I'm gonna just uh, tweak it a little bit because as you can see now the leaf needs a little bit of uh, reflection and also the subsurface that represent the back side of the leaf when it, the sun hits the leaf because it never shows as it's uh, at, as dark as it's, sh it's showing right now and to do that I'm just gonna activate the shading two sided foliage inside the details panel so we can have our um, subsurface color and to adjust this I'm just gonna add a basic color that for example will come around uh, the green area let's see for example on this side and then add convert it to a parameter let's say subsurface color and add a multiplier and a scalar parameter sub surface intensity and connect it to the multiplier node and connect it to the subsurface and one more thing that you're gonna see here that speed tree also have created or unreal engine have created based on the speed tree uh, material uh, structure a speed tree and a uh, wind uh, type method so make sure that it, it's on the best plus so we can get the best uh, uh, interactive with the wind as we're gonna see later on so I'm gonna hit apply and I'm gonna create a material instance and double click our uh, tree and we're gonna change the leaf material to the leaf material instance and save once it's finished compiling shader okay so if I open up the material instance and I'm gonna increase the subsurface intensity as you can see now we started to get a little bit of the sun effect on behind the leaf which is supposed to have the, uh, the actual look of the leaf when the sun when you look at the at the leaf at the back side uh, facing the sun okay I think this is a little bit okay let's hit okay okay so let's add also a roughness texture on top of that so we can have a little bit of uh, a reflection and glossiness uh, for the leaf I'm gonna open the material and drag the roughness texture and bring it over here let's get some space okay so I'm gonna create a multiplier and a scalar barometer as a roughness intensity and let's create also another two of them for metal knot uh, okay so 
I'm gonna connect these for the buffer intensity and it seems like it's have been connected by the normal map but I'm gonna change this to this and let's put the roughness maybe by one and for the metal same thing let's put it at one six and hit apply and let's go back and open the material instance activate the new node options that we have let's look at this side for example so I'm gonna give it a little bit of 0.4 or 0.7 okay so let's go to our camera as you can see we're starting to have a better presentation of the tree and this flickering that you see is the effect basically of the the, la the, la the last parameters and the texture that we have added on top of the, the leaf texture so the wind element that I have added I'm gonna remove it and add it again by writing here wind so we have the wind directional source and the main two parameters that we have here is the strength and the speed so I'm gonna put the speed for example at 0.06 and maybe the strength because the effect actually comes um, it doesn't come at once when you add the wind it will take time to adjust the speed and the strength that you have adjusted so it seems like this is a bit acceptable unless if we want to increase the speed a little bit by 0.07 and let's see how the tree is looking now through the camera if we, after adding the tree to our grass uh, area I'm sure you're starting to have a better look of how things are looking um, for our project example here I'm just gonna adjust the camera lens a little bit here so if we for example comes at this point I'm just gonna wanna show you if you have a focus point for example you have this type of uh, movement effect on, on the leaf sorry about uh, the mess uh, movement that I'm causing you to see let's see at this point for example as a focus point and let's choose for example this area here let's minimize it a little bit yeah so as you can see the higher detail of your leaf and the tree uh, structure help you in choosing a better camera angle and getting a better effect of your uh, trees with your project with your archivist uh, project so after a, a, a few weeks here and there I'm sure you are gonna add a better look than what I have here and let's hope that this will help you understand uh, how I basically added the trees to our project here I'm gonna share with you the tree that I have created here and a link in the description so you can also add it to the project example and start playing with the parameters and the node effect and start tweaking more uh, elements and uh, parameters in the, the material and also in the wind and I'm, I'm sure you're gonna have a better uh, effect or a result than what I have here so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and had enough information regarding the trees uh, that i have created using speed tree and in the next video we're gonna start talking about the post process volume and how to start to have a better effect and look uh, and feel for our uh, project example scene so thank you very much and see you in the next video